Hannah and I'm Kaylin for Team Kids News and we're here with country music sensation Lauren Elena. You're the Special Olympics Project Unify Ambassador for North America. We know that this is a cause that's important to you. How did you get involved? Um, I was actually my cousin, um, Ronnie. I was raised with him practically. I mean, he was a lot older than me, but I, um, my my family is like super close, and he had a disability. So it was I was it was always something that was like dear to my heart. And when I got into sixth grade, I volunteered for the Special Olympics for the first time. And I volunteered all through middle school and high school until I left for Idle. And uh, it's just always been super important to me because of my cousin Ronnie. And I think that, you know, it's important for me to be a part of it still because I can lead a lot more young people to, you know, help out with the Special Olympics and understand that those kids have feelings and, you know, they're special and they're different than some of us. But... Their, their, their life is just as important and they have feelings and you know I think the problem is like when you grow up and you're not around something like that you don't understand it you know yeah. but I was fortunate enough to have Ronnie and it was it was something that was just always a part of my life so I wasn't like shocked by it you know yeah because it's not that kids are mean they don't I think they just don't know well some of them you know can say the wrong things but I just yeah. don't think that they know how to handle it mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that with me, you know, I'm in front of lots of people every day and people kind of watch what I do more than they did before. So hopefully I can set an example for young kids in high school and they'll volunteer for the Special Olympics. I have been volunteering six, six, since sixth grade, so I've gone to school with um, Bailey and D'Angelo and Lauren and I've gone to school with all these kids and they're, they're my friends so it's cool that I have that relationship with them and I still go home and I, I go see them when I'm home mm -hmm. and it's like I think that it's important I think more people should have that. You're a great role model. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what advice would you give to other teens following their dreams? It's you know it's a hard road to go down well if you're going to be a singer and Try out for American Idol. There's a, diff a million different roads you can go down. You just have to be prepared. I've been really fortunate. I have, uh, you know, I was on American Idol, which was a lot of hard work. I thought that it was going to be a lot easier than uh, It looks easier when you're watching it. Yeah, it's, sure. it's, it's tough when you're there, especially when I was 15 when I tried out and turned 16 on the show, and I was gone for like nine months. So it was the longest I've ever been away from home. I've only been gone for like a week when we go on vacation with my family. And all I had there was my mom. So you have to make lots of sacrifices, but it's all worth it in the end. You just have to be prepared to put forth the effort, and it's all worth it at the end of the day. If you were to wake up tomorrow and find that you couldn't sing at all anymore for some reason, what other career would you choose? Well, when I was younger, I wanted to be um, a special ed teacher or a pediatrician because I love kids. I love being around little kids and taking care of them. And I had an amazing pediatrician growing up. And he was he was a great guy. And, and I, I still go see him. I'm still a child, <laughs> I'm 17. But I like beg him to like be my doctor forever because I have such a great relationship with him. And I, I thought that that would be cool for me to be able to be for young kids. But I'm uh, around young kids in a different way, so it still works out. <laughs>